Hi, Medora. I'm sorry that it took so long for me to get back to you. I apologize, but sometimes I just get busy. Sorry. Um, great videos. Um, I understand your frustrations with your son for not walking just yet. And here are just a couple of things that I see from him that you can work with him possibly to facilitate to give him a more secure environment. So one of the things that's really neat that people do because they want that walk to happen is get the excitement Start. going. Start. So with the videos when he's kind of running at someone and he's going to get caught in a sense. What that is though too is um, he's not working on a good sense of balance. Most people think of balance as just through the ears of the vestibular system. Um, that's just one thing of balance. In my world every cell has to be balanced to function. So you have a billion cells, it's a large mapping of balance. And one of my specialties is that I feel is no matter how I touch it, the hand to an elbow, not only do I attach to someone's vestibular system, but I can really feel where they have sense of balance or maybe not so great sense of balance or just how their system's reacting to that. So that's why, so when I see working this, with a child even in sitting, and you'll see a lot that I, I work here and I'm touching here. And people think it's more my trigger points or touching. Honestly, I don't even know what a trigger point is, and that's not what I work with. But I can truly feel that when, when I'm touching someone in such a way, I can feel how they balance their system. Some people that have balance, it's more of a failure. Just this little bit, they're going to go into a collapse. Or they're going to fall. Or they're going to react in some way. They're going to breathe differently. And those are all the things that I look for when I'm feeling someone. But they have to learn this. And obviously, there's more to it than just the balance. It's how the head is organized over the pelvis and how the pelvis rotates and does all sorts of things. Balance is a really important part when you're working with someone in this kind of way. So, that's why when a baby's learning how to walk, and I'm going to use my table like a couch or something or a table, they, they kind of do this. What they're doing, it kind of looks quite clumsy, but it's, it's really fascinating and very sophisticated because what a child's learning to do is how to transfer weight from one side to the other. There's a big difference between doing this move to this move or to this move. I've transferred my weight, but my balance is off for whatever reason, and I can't support my system by just shifting. Just shifting, and that's why too, if, if a child's working, let's say, in standing with me, you'll see me just it just looks like I'm doing that, but I'm giving all that information. Can you balance this way on your feet? Can you do this way on your feet? Can you go this way? Can you go this way? Now, where I also like to bring in is a functional vision. I'm going to do two more videos, by the way, by the end of this weekend. One on functional vision, one on balance to explain it better. But there's a big difference between being able to even look this far back to something to only being able to do this. If I don't have good balance, my vestibular's off. Again, I know there's a whole other gamut to it. But if I don't have good balance, doing this is just too much. And now I, I, I don't know where to go. And so when in, he's in standing on the couch or where he can lean against something like where a child would do where he's playing, look for can he cross midline? So if so he's standing way, here playing, if he's standing here playing, can he cross midline when he's playing? So put the ball over here. Be right here with his tush. So when he goes like this, and this is part of my success as a child's success. So if he's on his own, I don't want this necessarily to happen. I'm not saying to protect him, but but to make at least some successful. Can he do this? 
can he do this? Can he do this? And then can he pick up? You know, truly organized child should be do, to be able to do all of this, not to be hand dominant, to be able to do that. But to stand here right here, so you're allowing, and why he's in, and once he gets this, can you do it where you're pulling the hip a little bit more? Can you can you tilt the pelvis? Can you do, you know, does the help the head stay nice? Can he start doing this? Does he get smoother? Can he do is the chest coming up more? There's there's all little things to look for, but this in a sense is going from crawling to walking. So I'm not crawling, but I'm still on all fours in a sense where I'm doing all of this. And I think that you'll see him to be much more successful in, in, in attempting to walk, but also start bringing in the eyes. Use your little kids. One calls to him over here, so he's like this and he can look. Someone calls to him from over here so he can look. Can you do it with the ball? That's where you see uh, where we use the flashy lights coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in. At what point does his vestibular and peripheral vision go, oh, there's something over here? and hold it, you know, don't just dive in, you know, it's just this nice slow, oh, you know, is there something there, and bring it back. If he goes to reach for it, can he hold himself and reach for the object? Is there a way of coming back variation, you know? Do this when he's alert, when he's happy. Don't do five hours, don't, don't do, I'd rather have three minutes of success than 20 minutes of the, of failure, you know, just look for that, that happy time, that play where he, if he likes a certain toy, maybe only bring it out when it's that time to play with, or use the brothers and the sisters, like I said, but um, going from this and then from this, now I'm standing, well, when I'm standing and more neutral, guess what, now I can go forwards, I can go backwards, I can go sideways, I can go, there's this move, and there's, this is that same move. It's just not as efficient as to being able to, to, to do something like this. And he's still a little guy, so he's, he's going to be awkward and baby. I mean, that's where, you know, but I would work on making the standing and the balance much more successful, but bringing the eyes, because the more the head is like this, Walking at you like this, see my head's this way. I should be able to be to do all of this and look all different directions. And again, it might just be the videos that we saw. They were just short clips, but work on working the room as well as the walking and the talking and, and see. Remember, variation is the key to life, and I think that'll help you a lot. Um, can't even begin to say how great that was um, with the brothers and sisters helping out and the family that you have. So he has no choice but being successful with what he has around him. I mean, it's just fabulous. So I hope that those help you a lot. Just try those out and then see what, if there's changes and then we can talk further. Thanks.